and I've been able to find a few and we didn't list them right off the bat they just kind of got buried and I pulled them out listed them sold really quickly for top dollar <music> Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin and we seemingly have sold everything but the kitchen sink today. It's like the whole gamut of stuff. It's the it's the things that I like to sell. It's some interesting things. It's some things that I have taken a long time to list that I finally listed and they sold quickly. It is some bolo items. You know, there was an item that I've mentioned a few times. I know that term's probably overused a little bit, but it is something new to me that my wife told me to be on the lookout for. I've mentioned it a few times. We've sold a few of them in here out of the Homeschool Hustler store, and I've been able to find a few, and we didn't list them right off the bat. They just kind of got buried, and I pulled them out, listed them, sold really quickly for top dollar, and I'm excited about that. And no, it's not what's sitting behind me, although if you've been watching the Commonwealth Picker channel, We've come across, I think we've seen three of these in garage sale videos this season, and I've only bought this one. And this will be out in a video that I think is coming out pretty quickly. But I'm excited about some of these sales. There's a couple of viewer sales, of course, and then there's some NMN sales. But there's a lot to get to, so let's get to it. And I'll go through it quickly, and we'll get to those bolos at the end. First one's from our $100 lot. Still, we're still working on those. And a bunch of them are in our antique booth. We have them. Uh, we have like a media antique booth, so it's not really antiques. So I sell DVDs and CDs and eight tracks and cassettes, and I sell video games. So far, the video games haven't sold too well. Some of them have been selling, but it's not exactly frequented by really young folks. And I'm hoping that a few people get in there and they see the video games and they'll come back and keep buying because they're pretty reasonably priced. And they're usually games that I don't buy to sell in there, but I bundle them all together to get a better deal. That's what we did here, and we've been selling these off. We have made a bunch of money. $14.50 plus shipping on this one. It's called uh, Kingo, Legend of the Nine. All right, hopefully you can see this. This was in a garage sale. Matter of fact, it was the same video. Um, I can't remember what it was. She wouldn't budge or something like that. She wouldn't budge on her price. That's where we had some just amazing deals. There's only two garage sales on that video. And we made a bunch of money. But this one was the second garage sale where I spent some time talking to this guy. And I think there was like 50 cassettes, I think is what there were we took out of there. And some people are like, why aren't you just buying all of them? And I'm like, yeah, they weren't in great shape. I had to test every single one. A couple weren't working. And this is a really good lot. I kept quite a few for myself. I took a bunch and put them in my antique booth. I listed them in two lots and less and listed a couple of singles. And this one right here, there were 16 in all. I put out there for a really good price because some viewers were asking about them and I figured a viewer would buy it fairly quickly. And it didn't go to a viewer because it was priced so well. $15 plus shipping on this lot. And that's a really good lot of cassettes for that price. It's probably more like a $20 to $25 plus shipping lot. Somebody got a great deal on those, but that's fine. Hey, we spent five bucks on all of them. I've already made that back in the booth, and we sold all of these, uh, both of these lots today and some other cassettes as well. Here's the second one, and I kept a bunch for myself, so I don't know if you ever see it when we walk back there. We'll walk back there later. I have quite a few that I listen to myself. And this, is, this one did go to a viewer, and this one went to, let me make sure I get the name right, Loretta. And I'll read you what I put. I'll let you take a look at which ones they were. These are the hard rock ones. Yeah, with the, I mean, Billy Idol's not really exactly hard rock, but yeah, Thin Lizzy, Judas Priest, you know, Iron Maiden, Rat. So it's a decent little lot right here. And this one went for $17 plus shipping. So right there, that's $32. Sold another one for nine. I think another one sold here for eight. And I've made probably five or six bucks in the booth already. And so we're going to end up making probably close to $50, $55 on this cassette lot. Plus, I got to keep a bunch. I love listening to cassettes. Don't know why, I just do. All right, it says, Hi, Kevin and family. I purchased some rock VHS tapes from you and sold most. I remember that. I do remember that. You've been watching a long time. Sold most of them in my antique booth. Interesting. I plan to do the same with these. Question, 
What are your thoughts on everyday items that sell for thousands of dollars on eBay? For example, neckties that sell for six thousand. I uh, think there could be some funny business going on. Thanks, the Alamo City, Loretta. That's what San Antonio. That's where the Alamo is. Is that what it's called, the Alamo City? Amazing story. Uh, you're trying to get me distracted. I know. I know how you work. It's what my kids do in my classroom. They get me going on something they know I want to talk about, like the Alamo. I'll just say one thing. The story of the Alamo is like a microcosm of human nature. It shows the absolute best and the absolute worst in humankind. It is an amazing story. Whether you agree with everything that happened or not, whatever it is, it is an amazing story of just being human. And it's got some great stuff in it. Whatever, I'll talk about it. For, I've got my uh, AP World History shirt on here too, John Green. So let me address the question. Everyday items going for $6,000, like Disney Black Diamond VHS going for thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, or maybe some Beanie Babies or something like that. Um, you know, I wondered that for years myself, and the conclusion I came to, which I have heard repeated over and over again, is that it's a way to launder money. I'm not sure that that's the case. And I suppose it is, right? You have dirty money and you want to launder it. And so you put it through an eBay system and it gets laundered and it gets sent to the other side. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It seems pretty trackable. I mean, you would seem like you could look in eBay and look at who it's going to and who it's going from and be like, hmm, what's a little suspicious here? Maybe we should check on this. I don't know. eBay probably doesn't care because they're getting a cut is my guess. So at any rate, so thank you, Loretta, and thank you from the uh, Alamo City. I just realized you bought another one as well. Let me check this out. Here's one I decided to sell on its own. When I looked at this one, I said, Madonna Ray of Light. I'm like, I remember listening to that when I was in college. So it, it, I shouldn't admit that, should I? I probably shouldn't. When I was at that garage sale video with that guy, I'm like, why do you have this one with these? He's like, yeah, that was probably a mistake. So <laughs> anyway, this one is also going out to Loretta and you're selling them, I'm assuming to make money in your antique booth. You know, one thing about our antique booths here is the rent is cheap, but you better price stuff really, really low because people around here are not paying up, which is a good advantage for me because you go to the Goodwill, they're not paying up for items in my town. Now you go one city this way or one city that way, the Goodwill prices go up a little bit. Pick this baseball skills trainer up. I bought one of these for my oldest boy years ago. You basically put around a pole and it'll swing all the way around. It's just a hitting training aid, but it had plastic on it. I'm like, hmm, that'll sell. I've picked these up in the past and gone and taken them to play the game sports and they give you like five, six bucks for them if I can buy them for a buck. I put it in a bucket and uh, just wait till I have enough stuff to take to play it again. Which, if y'all see Played Again Rick in my videos, that's what he does. He just takes all that stuff and he buys it at garage sales and then literally takes it over to Played Again and makes, you know, $100, $200, $300 in a Saturday and he has no inventory and he doesn't have to buy shit like this. But this one had the plastic on it and I paid two bucks for it and I sold it for $13.50 plus shipping. Alright, sold a club head cover out of the Lost and Found sale that we had. And we're uh, down to the nitty gritty. The Taylor Made Rescue Duel, it's completely faded. The threads are starting to come out of it right up here. It's like got a burn mark here. And I don't know, it's not in great shape, but these sell and this one sold for $10 free shipping. It's all pure profit at this point. So, you know, that's going out first class with fees and shipping. It's still, you know, like $6 profit, maybe a little less, $5.50. Hey, I have three more items in here that I want to show you really quick. One was bought by a viewer. The other two weren't, but I want to read you their message really quick. We'll take a look at these pipes first and then this uh, lounge chair behind me, this Chase Lounge lawn chair behind me, and then I'll show you the thing that the viewer bought. All right, these pipes right here, well, they're, they were kind of a combo, actually. Most of the pipes, all but one, came from the exact change sale. The stand came from the Picker's Paradise sale. And I have still yet to list all of the pipes. I picked out the ones that were in the stand that I thought we could sell individually. Some of them were pretty decent. And I put some average ones in here. These are Grabo. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's how I've always pronounced it when I've sold them pipes. And they went to Southern California. It looks to me, and I could be wrong from where it's going 
and the name that's on there is these will be resold. So this sold for $50 plus shipping. I'm really happy with that sale. It's all pure profit at this point. Both of those sales are pure profit. We're going to put it on the exact change sale because all but one came from that sale. And take a look at that one. That one, along with this other item I'm going to show you in just a second, the Sony DVD, it came from there as a DVD. It's not even a DVD. It's a Sony CD player. And uh, that and the pipes sold for a total of $16 and $44 for a total profit now from that sale for $577. The big sale in there were those $200 worth of t-shirts. And then another t-shirt I think sold for $50. So those were the big money makers. We still have a bunch more pipes to go. All right, the next one, which I just talked about, just called a Sony DVD, which it wasn't, is in the Pennsylvania bin. And it should be somewhere in here, I think. There it is right there. It's in its case logic case. This guy right here was tested and working, does not have headphones. Let's see if I can show it to you real quick, if I can get it open with one hand. Huh, look at that, movie magic. This one was working, or is working, I should say, and it sold for $25.81. So I've taken the shipping cost and the fees off and come up with about a $16 profit. Maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more, but that's a pretty good estimate on this one. It's going to ship out first class for sure. It's really light. All right, the next one is this chair, and it just came in. This sale just came through. I just listed it yesterday. I bought this at a sale with Honest Tim, which you're going to see here in the next week or so. It was a fun, fun sale. It was ridiculously hot. But that guy right there, I told Tim when we were in there, I'm like, hey, you should pick that thing up, man. That's going to be good money. <laughs> and these things were selling for around 100 bucks a pop about a month ago. Some more, some less. I decided to list it for $59.95 plus shipping because I wanted it gone, and I wanted it gone quickly before this season ends. The prices have already come down from around 100 bucks to like 75 and now I see some selling for in the 50 range. So I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty decent one. It's in decent shape. It's working. It's got a little rust. It's got a little bit of cleaning issues, which I took care of most of it. And I'm like, you know what? This thing's going to sell if I put it out there for $59.95 plus shipping. Put FedEx as my calculated shipping on it. So I was able to put some pretty good measurements on it and weight on it to keep the cost down. And I was going to sell it really quick. And it sold within a day. 60 bucks plus shipping. Now this is something you'll find out there. But are you willing to do it is the question. Usually when you find them, they're not in good shape. And you can see this needs a little extra cleaning. I just gave it a good brush and a wipe down. But I haven't got into the details. You know, it's really in pretty darn good condition if you see how pretty relatively clean and it works really well it functions well functions exactly like it's supposed to it's got a few rough spots but i listed it just as is just like that i could have really done a number on it and maybe got another 10 bucks out of it but i'm just like oh, let's get it out of here it's thin this thing will ship out for around 13 pounds i think and we're going to use that old number seven box the box that the number seven box comes in from the post office so I love that sale. I sell two or three a year. The prices on them are going up. Just type in, you know, lounge, chase, lawn chair, tubes, tubing, something like that, vintage. And the colorful ones obviously go for a lot more and just different styles. Some have pillows on them and stuff like that. So it's worth it if you don't mind doing a little bit of shipping. And I don't all right, next item's up here. Let me turn the camera around and show it to you. This was bought by a viewer. It was bought by Walter. All right, so I can raise this up there so you can see it. It is a Braves World Series hat from 1995. I think I mentioned it the other day. And I listed it, and it sold pretty quick to Walter. Let me read what he put. All right, he's going to let the cat out of the bag. Something me and Reagan have been hiding. We've been keeping a little secret, but... We figured it's about time anyways, and Walter's message is going to help us out with that. All right, he says, Hello again, Kevin. Thanks for continuing the great videos. I also just purchased one of the new mugs and stickers on your website, uh, commonwealthpicker.com. Feel free to ship everything together if possible. Regards, Walter. Thank you very much. We will definitely do that. And yes, we do have a new mug, but this is not meant for people to rush over there. Last time we did these mug sales, we sold... 100 in one day 
And then we're like, you know, we had so many people ask for a mug. We're like, okay, we'll order 50 more. And they were gone in a day. We didn't really want to do that. We wanted everybody, Reagan feels bad, you know. She does a lot of the work for this store. She makes a lot of the decisions. I let her make the decisions. It's kind of a learning process. And so she decided that there's people that message me all the time. When are you going to do another mug? I missed out on the first mug. There's the first run of mugs over there. Are you going to put any of those back on there? Are you waiting to make sure that they haven't broke? What you know? How come you haven't relisted those? We need a mug. I'm like, hey. So I, I asked Reagan, I'm like, do you think we should make a mug and just have a permanent mug in there so that people don't always have to try to listen every single day to the show and be right on time and get in there and get a mug? And she said, yeah. And so we designed the mug and it's going to be a permanent staple. We have a viewer who made a mug for us right here. I don't know if he cares if we mention his name or not, but I'll, I'll wait. I've mentioned it before. He made this mug, was kind enough to send it to us. And so I contact him like, hey, do you make mugs? And he's like, they're really, you know, small scale kind of stuff. And I said, would you be willing to make us a mug and continue to make us a mug that we could always have in our store? And he said, yes, he would. And I asked about prices. It's a little bit more, to be honest with you, than we got the other mugs done for. But this is a viewer and he's small scale. And that's the kind of person that I want to help out. And that's the kind of person that I would love that money going to instead of some giant mug company, which is fine too. But we're going to pay him a little bit extra and he's going to give us these mugs whenever we run out. So if you've seen it, it's up here. It says what our motto is. And Reagan's like, you know, what perfect mug to have in our store, have our colors and to have our little thing that I say on the beginning of so many videos. This used to be on the beginning of every single video. And so we put that on there. Other things may change, but we start and end with family. And that's true for us. So that's going to be our permanent mug that we're going to keep in the Commonwealth Picker Store. So you don't have to rush over there and get it. It'll be there. And when we run out, we'll get more. And uh, he bought a sticker as well. So thank you, Walter. Thank you for allowing us to announce it that way. I didn't want to put it on the beginning of a video. I didn't want to put it on Instagram. I just wanted it to be in the store for anybody to have it whenever they wanted to and same thing applies a dollar from every mug is going to end up going to saint jude's and that's going to be something we're going to do sounds like we're going to do on every item we're going to have different charities a dollar for each item that's purchased so thank you walter we appreciate it and we're going to go on the ebay cave and see what's sold in there all right we have sophie and we have reagan reagan you know i'm going to make a little announcement about your store in a little bit okay <laughs> all right what do you want sophie huh you look frazzled <laughs> All right, Reagan, what is that thing? Starla Blaze. That's Starla Blaze. And this is our bolo of bolos lately. Now, it's not huge money, but it's something you can find. If you're paying attention to kids' toys out there, it's a little die-cast Starla Blaze. Blaze in the Monster Machines, most of them go okay. You know, 10 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. Maybe 2 for 15 2 for 20 But that one right there, if you find it, is, I think, the best. $42 free shipping used, used, and we've sold three of them so far. So you can find them out there. What do you think? Think they can find them? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Bye. All right, people tell me they don't hear the air conditioner, so I'm gonna go with that. If you hear it and it bothers you, send me a message there on Instagram or leave a comment, let me know, and I'll make sure we turn the AC off. This is a Callaway driver wrench. I'm into these for nothing. They've taken two and a half years, but I think they're almost gone. There might be one or two left. Eight dollars for shipping. AT&T handset. We've sold each one of these four off. Thirteen dollars free shipping. And I ship this just like I'd ship a remote, just putting it in a padded envelope, and it'll be just fine. It always is. Here's a DVD that I forgot I had bought a lot, a lot of anime stuff, and I bought a whole ton of it and sold it all off really, really fast. I was surprised at how fast it went. And I thought it was all gone, but this one wasn't. I'm like, did I accidentally do a quantity problem or something? But I found it. It's where I normally put most of my DVDs in here. And it sold for $11.81 free shipping. All right, I don't even know what this thing is. I didn't even know we had it in here. When I saw it, I was like, Blue Ridge Mama must have listed this thing. Bought it at the Goodwill or something and listed it. So our Goodwill on something like this sometimes unless they sell everything as a set and there are four of them over there so i don't know what she paid for it she's pretty uh frugal so she didn't pay much i promise you plus she didn't like doing plates of course i gotta package this thing up 
I bet you she paid a dime for this. There's one Goodwill that just almost almost all plates and everything are a dime. And that is amazing around here. Amazing anywhere, I guess. But this plate sold for $10 plus shipping. It says The Friendly Village by Johnson Brothers, England. So, I don't know. There's four of them. You know, when you pay next to nothing, maybe she paid 99 cents. I don't know. You may, you figure you make seven, eight dollars a piece. There's four of them. You know, it's about 30 bucks, maybe something like that. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not going to be hard to ship this thing at all. Hey, got an man going to Casey, Kathy, Michael, and Angie. And let me read Angie's note for you. Thank you for your show. I've learned so much. Love your family. I've been selling for a while now and try to put my kids through school and save some extra money or so the extra money helps and able to do that so that is awesome thank you and we're glad you could help and we're glad that you're watching we appreciate you more than you appreciate me i promise you that at first i thought this was eugene but it says eugene i think i'm pronouncing that right I, I hope i am if i'm not my apologies appreciate all the content and hope to one day be able to teach my boys the skills you are already teaching the homeschool hustlers love the spend save donate my niece is an RN and teaches at the local community college here, and I think this will be a perfect gift for her. And the other one is for me to help my eBay store uh, get things moving out, so there's two of them. I have a hard time sometimes getting two, because uh, I use that uh, Rolo printer, and I just plug everything in and it prints it out. And unless I'm paying attention to the fact that it's an 8-ounce shipment as opposed to a 4-ounce shipment. So in case I miss the boat on this one, <laughs> send me a message and I'll get it to you. But I, I will make a note to myself really quick here before I keep going on this video to make sure I get two of them out to you. One going out to Stephanie. Hello, I've been watching from the start. Really, I started watching you when I decided to make the plunge into full time. I have not yet done that. Time was The time was not right. However, I need to get mine before you sell out. Thank you for all the wonderful videos and love the family. I'm in Nova. That's Northern Virginia for those of you not around here, you know. When I grew up in California, it was SoCal and NoCal and all that stuff. And uh, I guess it was SoCal and NoCal. And they have Nova up there. I'm down in Central to Southwest Virginia down here. You sound like you were born in Virginia. And I love your enthusiasm for Virginia. I love this state and all its history and I'm proud of it. My mom's side of the family is from Pulaski. You know, the Yankees, here's a little irony right here, talking about being proud of it and, you know, the South and all that. <laughs> the irony is that Pulaski, at least they used to, used to have the Yankees, <laughs> the Pulaski Yankees. I believe it was a, a short season A-ball minor league team. Old stadium, really cool place to watch some baseball, even coach there a time or two. Hope to visit your shop someday. That would be awesome. I had a viewer the other day that uh, was in Bedford and sent me a message on Instagram. I was out there sitting underneath my tree out there and I got this Insta Instagram saying, hey, I'm in Bedford. I was very tempted to go down there and say hello. It wasn't gonna work out for that day, unfortunately. It's not often I get people around this neck of the woods. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I can't remember your name, but uh, you may have gone by the shop. So thank you so much and thank you, Stephanie. All right, this one is going out to Rory. I think that's right i gotta check my list over here but i think it's rory dr hair products <laughs> that's your ebay name right there and you've got a pretty good uh, amount of sales to your name there hey kevin i watch your channel i'm a retired cosmetology teacher and salon owner it makes sense my ebay store is going pretty well but i just started a youtube channel treasure click that's all one word treasure click i think that's right I think it's one word anyways. I'll have to go look it up out there. We'll try We'll try and check it out. If not, leave it in the comments below. I'm buying this Enemand to help me get my channel going. He may, he may help, but a shameless plug from you on your channel may help even more. Is that a shot at me? I always say a shameless plug for, for, uh, for an affiliate link down below or something like that. You know who I learned that from was was John Green, which most of you may or may not know from his books, but he's also a history teacher on YouTube. I don't know how many of you know him out there, but I teach AP World, and he used to he used to say that in his videos, a shameless plug for, and then he'd plug his t-shirts. My students bought me this t-shirt one year, so in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a, a Genghis Khan t-shirt, or the exception, <laughs> just look up John Green, you get it. So at any rate, thank you so much, and good luck with Treasure Click. Appreciate it. All right, Homeschool Hustler store sale out there, but I'm going to say goodbye from in here. So thank you very much as always, and a shameless plug for there's mugs over there, and you don't have to hurry. They'll be there when you're ready. 
I promise you that. Now, every other mug we do will probably be a limited run because Reagan's pretty busy and we like to just get them all out there in one shot and not have to look every day. But we're going to do this and make sure that anybody out there who wants one of our official mugs that will always be in the store, it will always be there. So thank you for everything you do for us. We really do appreciate it and we're not oblivious to the fact that we wouldn't be here without you and we're succeeding because of you guys. We appreciate it and we will see you next time. I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. <laughs> it does kind of look like an Oscar, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't even know what an Oscar is. All right, the Academy Award. This is a Ninja Turtle bubble bath bottle. There's nothing in it, is there? It's pretty light. Yeah. Turner, when I brought that home from that garage sale, I couldn't find it. Do you know why I couldn't find it? Why? Because you took it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You took it upstairs. I'm like, where did that thing go? And then I said, do you really want an empty bottle? That's Raphael, isn't it? No. It's, no? It's Leonardo. Oh, it's Leonardo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I listed it right. I think I did. Blue. That's right. Because I asked you what was the blue one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that empty bottle of bubble bath from 1990 sold for $10 plus shipping. That's how much we got for it. That's enough for you to get a dollar to save, get a dollar to spend, and to get a dollar to donate. That's right. All right. Thanks for joining us, Spider Dude.